वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 कोर्स गाइस आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू सेट अप आवर हाइब्रिड इन्वॉल्वमेंट फॉर मेलिंग सर्विसेज सो एज पर द नेम सजेस्ट इन केस ऑफ हाइब्रिड इट मींस दैट इफ इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी एस्टैब्लिश योर ऑन प्रोमाइसिस एक्सचेंज एंड यू आल्सो परचेज अ लाइसेंस फॉर योर मेलिंग सर्विसेज मींस यू आर यू वांट टू यूज uh both the location both the location in the sense like on premises exchange and online exchange both the platforms you want to use to set up your email services so in this class i'm going to give you a to z information about the procedure to set up our mailboxes on on premises as well as we'll synchronize the same mailboxes over a 365 portal so let me help you to understand about the concept means how it can work how how, how hybrid environment can perform the task and after that we'll proceed for the practical so what i did basically we st i established one office 365 portal means i purchased a one license for office 365 and uh, set up our on premises uh, domain controller this is on premises domain and established offline or you can say that on premises exchange server so each and every system are connected to each other like our domain controller connected with exchange and our agenda to synchronize our on premises domain this is adds server our responsibility to uh, set up our on premises uh, uh, ad uh, synchronize the users from on premises ad to azure ad and after that we'll use the same users that we created like we created a user with name of abc we'll use the same abc user in off offline exchange on premises exchange and same user will manage through the 365 license or 365 portal right so let me show you the uh, the the hardware that i established this is our on premises uh, 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 setup this one is our domain controller and another machine it's contain the exchange server 2016 in our domain controller let me create few users because uh, in previous class i uh, we discussed about the procedure how to install exchange server on on premises now it's time to create a hybrid setup open active directory user and computers in the active directory user and computers we are able to find the user icons only one user is available but as per the agenda let me create uh, uh gcp as a user right gcp and one more user one or two three users we need to create to set up our hybrid environment using our on premises domain controller you need to set up active directory users gcp and telnet is ready to use one more user abc okay <coughs> the another user abc uh and uh, we'll create one more user for testing purpose uh one more user i just wanted to create with name of class okay so number of user four different users we created on our on premises domain and the same users will synchronize to 365 portal and same users will uh, access through the on premises exchange so class demo gcp and telnet four different users are available on on premises ad and the same users will use in with with, with our on online offline exchange this is exchange server let me open the exchange panel S click start go to the microsoft 360 microsoft server 2016 and click on the exchange server administrator i'm going to log in through the service account telnet is our service account that provided by our domain controller so everything is okay uh, i hope you guys are able to understand about how we can access the same ad users with the on premises exchange and now it's time to synchronize the same users right now it's time to synchronize our same user with the uh, azure active directory or microsoft intra id this is our portal i'm going to open admin center and using admin center you need to open microsoft intra id which is considered as azure ad just need to click on add entity it will redirect you on the page of page of uh, microsoft intra id or you can consider it as a what we can say that you can consider it as a uh, microsoft azure ad 
fine so our responsibility to synchronize the same user but before that let me identify how many users are available so multiple users i have already created but i'm i'm, I'm just going to remove these users because uh, uh, i wanted to create our environment from scratch right so these users and i'm just going to delete it because i'm going to give you the complete information from scratch so all good our responsibility as we discussed before like if you want to set up your hybrid environment you need to create one user and the user must be a global administrator right so one user i wanted to create with name of aws and the aws user is our global admin right by using this global administrator user account will synchronize our on premises domain controller user global admin so you just need to make it member of global administrator review and create fine so aws user is ready to use as per the uh, means uh, microsoft documentation you need to reset your password on first login so i'm going to reset the password because the same user id password will use to uh, uh, synchronize our on premises user so this is step one that you need to use in case of creating a hybrid environment. Okay, so we successfully reset the password of our AWS user and as we discussed, AWS is a type of uh, global administrator, right? So no need to do anything. We just need to reset the password and download Azure AD Connect tool. So I'm going to download the Azure AD Connect tool. Download Azure AD Connect, right? Yes, it's a V2 because recently Microsoft did lots of changes with the our 365 portal and the tools as well so the capacity of this particular tool i think 150 146 mb so let me download it and the same tool we'll use to synchronize our users from on premises ad okay so we successfully downloaded the azure ad connect tool and I'm just going to copy the tool and paste on our domain controller. We'll uh, install it. And uh, after the installation of Azure AD Connect tool, you, you, you are able to synchronize the entire users from on premises AD to Azure AD. Copy, open your domain controller. This is our on premises domain. Paste here and let me open some manager wizard go to the local server and you need to turn off the ie enhanced security so you just need to turn off it and install the azure ready connect tool dotnet framework 4.7 is required so what you need to do you need to download dotnet uh, net framework microsoft dot net framework 4.7 download dot net framework four point seven and install on your domain controller means uh, because we are trying to synchronize the user so it's mandatory you need to download and install on domain After the installation of .NET Framework, we'll try to install Azure AD Connect for the synchronization. So maybe it will take time. So we have to wait for a few more seconds. And after that, we'll proceed to install our AD Connect. Okay, so we successfully installed uh, .NET Framework 4.7. So I'm just going to proceed to install Azure AD Connect now. We must need to restart because we just installed the uh, .NET Framework. So you, it's uh, mandatory to restart your machine.
After installation of .NET Framework, we just need to proceed and install Azure Ready Connect to synchronize the users. So once we synchronize the entire users that we created on on-premises, uh, we'll set up our hybrid environment. So very basic steps you need to use to install Azure Ready Connect. The first option, you need to provide uh, the user name that you've created as a global administrator. So teachmecloud.in is our uh, domain name right which is associated with the AWS user and AWS is the member of global administrator so I'm going to use the same user ID and password to uh, authorize our uh, uh, 365 services 365 portal first step we need to provide uh, global teach me cloud dot in dot net bit confused okay it's dot net I think yes Second step, you need to provide domain name cloud.com and administrator because this is our local administrator, local user. Let me proceed to install. All good without the uh, UPN suffix. Now installation is in progress. We have to wait for a few more minutes and after that we'll proceed to install. Okay, so AD Connect successfully installed on our domain controller. Let me check the users that we created on on-premises. So you will find the entire users over a 365 portal. I mean, Microsoft IntraID, right? So we have to wait for a few more minutes. Refresh the page. Okay, so the same system, the same domain controller we added with our exchange on-premises. So that's why we are able to find multiple mailboxes automatically created in our 365 portal. The users that we created with name of ABC class demo GCP, right? And uh, Telnet, right? So entire users we successfully synchronized with our Microsoft Azure AD or Microsoft Intra AD. But our responsibility to set up hybrid environments, how we can do that? back to the admin center in the admin center panel we just need to click on uh, exchange online it will redirect you on the page of exchange online admin center or exchange admin center over exchange admin center we just need to click on the other features it will redirect you on the page of where we can create our hybrid environment so we just need to select this is hybrid setup you need to open this particular url it will redirect you on another page and it give you one tool and by using the tool we are able to set up our hybrid environment.